It is Theo Epstein, uh, Curse Breaker. Again, genius, master of sabermetrics. Mm-hmm. What else? Keep going. Uh, Billy Bean's boss. Uh, master of my domain. Stat sheet. Yeah. Kisser. Yeah. Nerd. Are you still drunk? <laughs> no. It, it, the bender officially came to an end. How long did it last for? A month. We, we, we put a lot of time and energy into getting the right kind of data and analyzing it, but it's a totally different industry than it was 15 years ago. The ironic thing about that is it's kind of swung the pendulum back where I think the biggest competitive advantage now is actually understanding players as human beings, what makes them tick, getting the right kind of guys, building the right kind of chemistry, and then treating them the right way. But who's the most uh, your favorite draft pick? We're pretty proud of the Schwarber pick. Okay. We were just uh, so convicted about the bat and one, you know, we thought he was one of the best young hitters we'd ever seen, and then the person we like just felt like we wanted him to be one of those guys, like like Anthony and like Brian, right in the middle of what we're doing for a long time. After that game seven, it was a legendary game. Did you feel more of a sense of relief, or was it like joy? Um, it was great relief, and then tons of joy, and then you know the game was so tense. I got drunk in like a minute and a half after the game because <laughs> I was watching the whole game. Pussy. With all my muscles. <laughs> Man yep. card. I, I don't. You're now starting to look more towards you know the makeup of a player as opposed to just the numbers behind him. So is that your way of saying that you're thinking about bringing Tebow on board? <laughs> I don't think so. I just saw his at bats the other mm-hmm. day. Yeah. And well, he drowned it into like a double play, but he that drove in a run. So that how would you evaluate that? It's pretty good, right? Clutch. Uh, yeah, I guess he's getting better. And we need your full honesty on this one. Okay. All right. Yale nerd, <laughs> sabermetrics computer geek this is my epitaph tomorrow morning you can wake up and be a couple alpha guys like us real sports guys like not, guys guys yeah, not, not, not a guy that hides behind little, in his mom's base not a guy we put guy. in we we give you know swirlies to you trade you trade lives less right to be in the barstool alpha. office no, like working for portnoy to be a sports blogger like to be a sports guy, guy. Like, you know, you're not you're, yeah you know. that's why i've gone to this charade for 25 years yeah. to right. try to get the approval of real sports guys well, there you like go. you so. so we read mean tweets to our guests okay so uh we got a couple here first okay. one is from um at uh jed hoyer is actually the real genius for 2069 he <laughs> said hey theo i know you're really good but you, the fact that you wear Maui Jim sunglasses makes you kind of a douchebag, and <laughs> they look so stupid on your face. <laughs> That's good. I do have a really like narrow face. This one's from uh, from B Ball Fan uh, 6969. Uh, Theo, you look like if Forrest Gump uh, walked into a teleporter with Malcolm in the Middle. Wow. I don't know that. What yeah. is that? The last one is from uh, at Jed Hoyer underscore. It's just spanking it. And <laughs> we know you wrote that. So why don't you just admit it right now? Oh, here's another one. Uh, hey, Theo, do you fuck your spreadsheets? <laughs> <laughs> hey!